I just started playing with Dagster and I didn't realize how easy it is to deploy a notebook. So I've got a notebook here, my canonical Iris data set, where we're gonna train a model to predict a flower type, the crazy stuff. And with very little editing or with very little work, I can bring this into Dagster and I can have Dagster deploy the notebook. Now I'm not following any good or, or best practices here by any stretch, but I, I think as a quick and dirty example, this is pretty fun. So here I'm within Dagster, Dagster's this great orchestration tool. And all I have to do to take my existing notebook with essentially, I haven't done anything other than just copy and paste a scikit-learn example. I create this little file, a Python script, that's going to import or use Dagster mill. And I tell Dagster, okay, here's the notebook path and then here's the output. So what we're gonna define here is an op. And I'm still coming up on the Dagster lingo, but in Dagster we define typically assets and we'll build those assets, I think, with ops or operations. And so in this case, we have an operation which will be running the notebook and the asset that we're gonna generate is this output output notebook. So in the future, probably better to define, have the actual ML model itself be an asset. But I can run this, what's really interesting, I'll just go ahead and kick this off and re-execute everything. Dagster's going to run my simple little notebook here. And again, I had the notebook, I just told it, hey, run this thing, it's executing it. And I get this output file, I'll pull up one over here on the right. So this is stored locally, but I can see exactly what Dagster ran, I can see the output, all of this is tracked. Uh, again, I'm not claiming any good engineering practice here, but very easy to take a notebook and say, hey, if my team is deploying stuff with Dagster, it's really not that hard to integrate. I've got a lot more to learn, but I thought this was pretty fun.